up you smashed pumpkin buttholes i'm mcstud and welcome to another fucking mcstud show but first my last 40 until our next trip and a tasty beverage had to save the best for last man it's fucking saturday you know the first of two halloween weekends cheers bitches mm. man that's delicious. I'll take my time with this one. As I continue to gulp it down. Anyways, I pretty much call this week Halloween week. As the way it turns out this week, you know. People are having Halloween parties this weekend. And I definitely know they will be having them uh, all week and next weekend. Probably, especially Friday. And it's always fun to see what people choose to dress up as. There's all kinds of varieties. You always have the normal ones like Michael Myers, basketball players, princesses. You know, but where are all the, like, employed American costumes? You know, the costumes that just say, I'm not a lazy fuck and I work to earn what I have. And who's going to be the first dude to dress up as, a, like, Diddy? I swear the dude's got to have, like, a tactical vest full of lube and a dildo bazooka. You know? Now, that's a fucking bad boy for life. Even though that bad boy is probably going to be spending life. Or a lot of his life in fucking prison. But I would really like to see some uh, original costumes this year. You know, like the strong, independent woman whose kids are everything to her. You know, it's a dirty blonde with some cut-up jeans, camel crush cigarettes, and a patch on her hip bone. Is it birth control or is it niggerette? I guess you'll have to find out if you don't pull out. God damn it. Shit, there's all kinds of them. What about the homeless couple asking for money standing with a sign... As you pull into Walmart, you know, and funny thing is, this is actually a true one because I noticed it tonight. You know, I've seen this one. It's the same family, same van. Some days I'll sit out there, same fucking van. They got like a fucking canopy on the bitch. And some days the hood is up on the van. Today they took the fucking tire off and the dude was sitting on the tire, which clearly was not flat where it would have, you know, sunk in a little bit. Nah, he sat on it holding a baby. The mom had a sign where you like drive out to leave Walmart and shit. And she had a fold out chair with a child right there. You know, like it's, it's a fucking classic costume. I just don't know how much money it makes, but fuck, you know, at least they're, uh, they're trying <laughs> hardworking American costume right there. <sighs> what about the, uh, the gas station lottery shopper? It's an easy one. You just grab a bunch of scratch offs and you stand in people's way while you pretend to spend all your money on lottery tickets. It's fucking awesome. Another solid one is the classic Karen as well. It's just a woman with a Kate Gosselin haircut. And she just goes around asking people where the manager's at. We're asking for the manager. You know, until someone gets tired of her bullshit and beats her ass. But there are some that are just boring. They're overused. They're unoriginal. And I'm getting tired of them. You know, some women like to call them the sexy cop or sexy nurse outfits. Let's just cut the bullshit and say you're dressed up like a slut. It's your finest slut costume. You know, no thanks, Jessica. I would not like you to take my temperature while your left pussy lip is hanging out and slapping against your thigh. <laughs> God. And until next Friday, which is Halloween, the, uh, the last costume that I absolutely fucking hate, but it's stupid, it's overused, and you should have the shit beat out of you of dress up as it. It's the fucking serial killer. You know what I'm talking about? It's the fucking moron that carries a box of cereal around with a meat tenderizer. I'm a serial killer. Let's bash your fucking head in with that meat tenderizer, you fucking idiot. Is that the best you have? You know, if that's the best that you got, just sit in a bathtub and drop a toaster at it. That makes for a much better Halloween costume. <sighs> Anyways, motherfuckers. I'm gonna jump off here. Enjoy all your Halloween parties. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. And until tomorrow for football, happy early Halloween.